Hello and welcome to the workbench. Tonight I am modifying this ammo can. Uh, it's been a project that I've been wanting to do for a while. I've got a couple of these ammo cans. I'm going to do this a couple of times. Only going to record one though. I want to put a lock on this. Uh, I've seen some people do this, so we're just going to I'm going to give it a try. All right? Uh, I'm going to take U bolt, cut out a little bit of hole here. And so I can leave some of that U exposed, that U bolt exposed, and then I can run um, a lock through that. It'll all make sense here in a couple of minutes. Uh, hopefully, when I get this built, I'm going to have to open up that hole a little bit. But what that's going to do is it's going to keep this lever from uh, opening up. Uh, now, this is, I think, a uh, 50 cal box. Uh, that I picked up. Uh, actually, this one my neighbor gave me. Uh, she was cleaning out her garage. Uh, so I knocked off some of the rust, put a fresh coat of paint on it. So now uh, I'm going to put this U bolt in and weld it and get it nice and clean on the inside. That way I don't really take up any of the internal volume. Uh, but, but ammo cans are nice. Um, they, uh, they have a seal on them for anyone who doesn't have one, doesn't realize. Uh, there's generally rubber seal. So, you can put uh, desiccant in it uh, to keep things dry. Um, it's a really nice storage, nice metal storage. The lid comes off as well. One direction. But, in any case. Alright. Should be a fairly easy project. Um, I'm not the best welder, but it's adequate. So, Gonna go ahead and uh, start measuring this out. Uh, I think what I'm gonna do first, though, is I think I want to do some estimates on this swing. The question really is: is how far out does this need to be? Um, lining it up, I probably only need. Probably a couple of threads exposed off the top in order to get that lock through, and that's going to be even generous. But what I also want to do is I want to make sure that the whole hole that I open up here is going to make, be enough for that swing of uh, that latch. Uh, what I want to do is let's. I'm taking a look to see where about where the pivot point is. Yeah, so the pivot point's right on that. It'll be right on that corner. So I've got a compass here. And I am going to measure... Let's see. Let's measure to the edge of that hole. I'm thinking... If I center that U-bolt here in the center here, I'll take some measurements there with some tape. All right, let's see if I make that swing. And that's... So just making some markings here on the cardboard. And so I'm going to come off the bottom point about there. Right. Make that swing. Right, and hmm. I have a tape measure or a straight edge, real handy. Not exact science. All right, so this is going to be distance from box. This is latch, and that's going to be the theoretical curvature of that hole. 
Oh yeah, so that's pretty, that'd be fine. And I went to the edge of the hole, so let me get the diameter of the hole. Oh, there we go. So yeah, if I am... I'm sure I shut up on camera or not. Let me... Let's go through this. So this is the distance from the box to the top of the hinge or the that plate. Uh, here is the diameter of the hole and this is going to be the swing off the pivot point. So yeah, if I'm in the middle of that hole, I can go probably just a couple of threads exposed uh, and that's going to give me lots of room and then I'm going to have lots of room. I don't even almost no threads exposed, and I should have plenty of room. Okay. Perfect. Now, okay. Let us see where that hole lines up. I did some rough measurements earlier. I think it's pretty much right. I can pretty much center this U-bolt. Yeah, it's going to be close. All right, uh, so two things. I need to make holes. Safety glasses. Drill a couple of pilot holes here. So now the question is, do I want to make it that whole diameter? Do I want to taper it? Yeah, taper it a little bit. Uh, that would be a good, good way. Now realistically, if I, I'm just eyeballing things here too. So. I can always go back and open it up.
actually. Thin metal like this is better with a step bit. use two boards here, little cutoffs. That way I'm not intentionally drilling into the table. The uh, step bit is nice because it doesn't have the large flutes that would bite and grab like happened with the box. Uh, it's more shaving off uh, the sizes as it goes up. Also really good for plastics, I found. Right, so let's try this. Let's test fit. Big fan. Test fit. Let's see how this thing lines up. It's a little off, but I think that opens up a little more. We gotta go. Not winning any awards for this, and it's not high precision. And then what I'll do is I will I don't know, probably use. I use a Dremel cut off just to cut that slot open and describe. Close enough. <laughs> Ooh, getting a little close to that hinge. Didn't think about that. And I'm just going to use the Dremel to uh, cut along those lines and cut out that hole. It's going to be perfect. I'm going to clean up the lines a little bit. And should be good enough to get, yep, like that. Okay, now let's get some of the paint cleared off and so I can weld it. I'm going to weld it. I'm going to put a couple of hits here and then on the inside as well and I'm going to grind off what's left of the inside. So clean up the paint. Burrs on the 
inside there. I'm going to clean out before I use the wire wheel. Uh, U bolt boats, U, U bolts are uh, uh, were uh, like bright zinc coated. Uh, I soaked them in vinegar for I think about 48 hours to get rid of that plating. Um, so they should be pretty good to go in. Gonna knock some rust off here off these threads. Um, yeah, before welding, and I'm gonna do that off camera because I don't want to destroy the camera. Alright, got it welded up. Absolutely terrible welding. Uh, I weld about twice, three times a year, so I really don't have any practice. It's been forever. And, um, yeah, it's, it's adequate for this. Let's give it a shot. Alright, I'm going to knock the uh, threads off the little bolt on the inside, buzz those off, clean that up, and give this a uh, coat of paint just to protect the bare metal. Uh, I think I'm actually going to cut it there. I mean, you don't need to see how I'm painting. Um, I'll probably do a screenshot of it or a picture of it here for the title caption. So thanks for joining me. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, if you enjoyed hanging out tonight, working on projects, please subscribe. Um, if you enjoy this project, thumbs up and like. Uh, and as always, uh, feel free to leave comments. Uh, I enjoy talking to people. Thanks and have a great night.